Since I'm going to talk to you like this, can I talk to you straight for a minute? Did you comb your wig today? See, therefore, but you got that out, right? Yeah. I could have done the same thing. But no, but I guarantee your hair is more beautiful than that wig. Huh? Yeah. Alright, so take that wig. When you matter of fact, we get in the car and take the damn wig off. Take take it off. It's, it's not, you ain't gotta please me, I'm just saying. That's how quick you gotta take. You know you would take it off if it was 90 degrees out here. Scratching your jaw. I said stop playing games. Three, three and 19. Because we need to change our mindsets today. Up here in uh, Chester, Pennsylvania. Read what you got. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Uh huh. Repent ye therefore. That's what we're trying to tell our people to do. Change. Turn back to God's laws that we've been coming out here week by week delivering and giving to you people. Read. Repent ye therefore. Uh huh. And be converted. Be converted. Meaning change. Don't think you have time to continue to walk in the same way, talk in the same manner, be having boyfriends, wearing or wearing whatever you want to wear, shooting and killing your brothers, murdering your brothers, driving drunk. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. Now the way your sins will be blotted out is if you change and be converted. Give me what converts us. Uh-huh, give me what converts us. All right, my sis, remember, throw that, throw that thing in the trash. You, throw that, throw that thing in the trash. Do you have, how many do you have of that? How many wigs do you have? How many do you have? A few. Are they, are they still, are they blonde? No. What color are they? They're black, probably like four blonde. Oh, now let me ask you this, sis. You know, usually when sisters have the wigs, that, that shows also, it comes with a specific personality. Like today, I'm gonna be such and such. Tomorrow, I'm, that's why you wear that. Then you put the makeup on a different way. Your dr I'm talking about lip gloss, whatever, your, your dress. With those wigs on, you become a different woman. I'm, I'm Stacy today. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm whoever today. Come, what's your name? I'm Cynthia today. So who, who are you today? What spirit are you in today when you put that wig on? I'm Cynthia. So when you have natural hair, who are you? You can't be two people with, with and we just read my sis, you're envying you know, the oppressor. With, with the wigs, come with a different spirit with the sisters. That's why, why do sisters, when they get into a fight, what they do? They throw that joint and go to their natural hair. It come with a different spirit, my sis. Don't, listen, throw all, all of them wigs, throw them away. Them dresses, cause I know, I know you, I know you working, and I know you're doing those things, so you can afford other dresses. You go to Macy, J.C. Penney. No, you're not gonna be looking like your grandmother. No, that's not how grandma dressed, cause grandma had respect. That's why we took our shoes off. Yes, ma'am. Some of the hardest cats, grandma. Yes, ma'am. But they can't kill their brother, but the grandma. Yes, ma'am. So grandma had respect, just like you said. So right now. See, we gonna respect our brothers and our sisters regardless, cause we know that we know where they at. But if we was the niggas in the world that we used to be, you wouldn't you wouldn't be hasting. We'd be like, damn shorty. We, we'll be talking disrespectfully. He'd be like, well, that ain't my name. Well, damn it, the way you dressing is your name. You know what I'm saying? Cause we can tell who you are by your attire. Do you believe that? Proverbs. Bring it out. Do you believe that? Pardon? Give me power and then we get that one Ecclesiastes, huh? Pardon? Why? Why partial? Why are you putting partial with me, sis? Why? Oh. No, I'm asking you. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, the Bible's right. I'm right. Listen, I've been wrong all my life until I came into the truth. I was, I'm, I was wrong as hell. I'm still wrong if I go on my own thoughts. So check this out, my sis. Check it. You said I asked you a question about can you know about the dress code, right? Uh, can somebody be judged by the way they dress, right? So if you see a cop, you know he a cop. Hey, officer, you wouldn't run to me if there was a fire. 
You're going to a cop, so give me that. Watch this. Yes. Sirach, chapter 19, verse 29. Watch this. A man may be known by his look. By, by his look. By his face. But also what he has on. That's how you know certain... Like, if a man approaches you, you can be like, yo, I can tell you probably live in, in corporate America. If we came out here in suits and ties, and we walked so you walk in somewhere, you would know, like, okay, that man could be prestigious. Why? Because of how he look. A lot of times before I know your name, I see how you look. When you walked up here, what did you walk up here and see? Oh, Why though? Man that's ready to preach. I didn't think it, I didn't, I'm not gonna say I don't, I didn't think it was at all. I knew that you guys was gonna respect me. Wow, wow, why, why? Immediately. Because the way we look. Yeah. Right. Because you would not walk past regular brothers that were just sitting on a corner. See, we don't see we've been using the word beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We ain't say sexy. We ain't say bad. The most I said the first author of what? Not sexy, not bad. Beauty. You raise your standard to beauty by wearing your natural hair, by wearing dresses that cover you. You gotta say dresses, not skirts. Cause yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing, you know, I ain't wearing the pants. No, the damn skirt is wrong too. Yeah, I know. I see. Yeah, I hit you. The, Cause you said the skirt. You gonna wear the blazer. You was gonna do all that with your with your six inch heels, thinking you doing it. But no, sis. Uh uh. You gotta change all of that. You know what I'm saying? All right, sis. And cover up because it's more of a respectful thing when you're covered up. Because check this also. You walking with your son. Your son is your son is gonna catch the eye because your son has been watching us too. That's what we supposed to do. So you go to the gas station right now, your son is gonna have to witness men. Hey shorty, didn't you see the video where the where a 14 year old shot the dude in Chicago? Cause he beat his mom in, right. So I guarantee how many things that that son has seen based off that woman's actions that that man has done. Cause she declassified herself and lost respect for herself. Because if you dress better, what do you do? You feel better. So if you dress, and you cover up, cover your hair, put your natural cover, co uh, color onto your hair, and leave it like that. Yeah, I guarantee under that wig, you probably got a stocking cap. <laughs> and are you, what you got under that? No, it's my hair. Is it braids? No, it's, I cut it. So I guarantee that hair is a beautiful hair. It is. Let's see it. No. <laughs> Since I'm gonna talk to you like this, can I talk to you straight for a minute? Yeah. Did you comb your wig today? Okay, see, therefore, but you got that out, right? I could have done the same thing. But no, but I guarantee your hair is more beautiful than that wig. Huh? Make haste. Let me get that make haste in Psalms. Yes, We're going to leave you with this scripture, my sis. Because I see you in, uh, you're like, yeah, they, they told me. I know the airphone is not going nowhere. We saving your life right now with the word of God. Read. Psalms, it's the 119 verse 60. Uh -huh. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. <laughs> Listen. You make haste, meaning as fast as you can, run to God. And don't delay because guess what? Just because, give me that in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because this is why our people, as something as we think as simple as that, oh, just you're not wearing a wig, changing the way you dress, oh, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it next month. Because then, guess what? This is why our people delay to keep God's laws. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11. Uh -huh. Because sentence against an evil work. Because sentencing, because we haven't been punished and judged for our sin. Read. It's not executed speedily. Because it hasn't happened right, right away. Read. Therefore the heart of the sons of men uh -huh. is fully set in them to do evil. Because now we like, well, y'all say God is going to judge me, but I haven't been judged yet. That's why a lot of people are in the prison system. Oh, my mans ain't get caught. Or oh, we looking around, looking at everything and everybody else not, not get caught. Right then and there. So we think it's okay. Oh, I got time, I got time, I got time. We don't got time, sis. The crime rate is getting higher. You see that the, even the temperature is changing. The animals are changing. The, the, the damn grass is changing. There's wars and rumors of wars. We just came... There's, I think they said, what, another another disease has popped back up that's in D.C. or something. Something like that, another disease came back up. The swine, no, not the swine. It's another, like a, a bug or something, whatever it is. Read, continue that. 
Verse 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. So look, and though you continue to do evil, and it may seem like, oh yeah, I'm living a long day. That's when we tell brothers and sisters stop smoking. Well, my uncle, he lived till 70, and he ain't have nothing wrong with him. And he smoked his whole life. Read. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God. So guess what? Just as long as, just as much as, we about to finish up, just as long as the evil work has been prolonged, now we, since they getting so those quote unquote according to their eyes, mercy, we know we keep the laws, we got eternal life. All right. So my sis, I'm gonna leave you with that. My brother, appreciate you. Take care of your mom. All right now, take that thing off. Trash it, burn it, bonfire. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.